Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. Uh, my name is Shane, and today I wanted to show you guys the MIUI ROM that is now available for the Droid X. We've been awaiting this ROM patiently since uh, the Droid X was released. I thought when it first released that we'd never have ROMs like MIUI because of the locked bootloader. Uh, but because of the second init process uh, that was found by CVPCS, uh, we're able to uh, put any type of ROM that we want on our phone, such as CM7 or MIUI, and there's actually a lot more to come. Um, but I want to show you guys real quick how to install the MIUI ROM, and then we're going to go and have a uh, quick little review of the MIUI ROM. So you need to be coming from stock Froyo, or you can come from any of the CM7 ROMs, such as CyanogenMod 7, SSX, or Liquid. If you're going to install from a CM7 ROM, you would just hold the power button to bring up the power menu, click reboot, and reboot recovery. Uh, once Clockwork Recovery comes up, you would wipe data, wipe cache, and then install um, the MIUI ROM, which you can get from the link in the description. But since we're coming from stock Froyo, uh, one thing I do want you to know is that you cannot install this from any of the gingerbread ROMs. It uh, has to be from Stock Froyo or from the CM7 ROMs. Um, reason being is uh, Second Init will not run off of any other baseband uh, besides the stock baseband that came with the phone. Um, what Second Init is, if you haven't already heard, it basically hijacks the kernel so that we can run our own processes and it makes it basically like an unlocked bootloader. Um, even though we're using the kernel that the phone came with we can do basically whatever we want so from stock froyo you need to be rooted you need to have d2 bootstrapper so open up d2 bootstrapper click bootstrap recovery and ok and reboot recovery and i'm just going to show you guys how to install this rom if you already know how to install roms in Clockwork Recovery, then you can skip on to the review. So, when this comes up, uh, you're going to go through the menu up and down, select camera, and the back button is back. Go to Wipe Data Factory Reset, and then Yes, Delete All User Data give it a few minutes to wipe your data go down to wipe cache partition and wipe cache and then go down to advanced wipe dalvik cache and yes wipe dalvik cache and then you're gonna hit the back button go to install zip from SD card choose zip from SD card and then you're gonna select that uh, ROM that you got from the link in the description. If you download it directly to your phone, it'll be in the download folder on your SD card. And it will say uh, MIUI.US Shadow 1722 ENGDEO ZIP A signed FR. Go ahead and select that. Go down to install MIUI. And that's going to start the process. Uh, give it just a few minutes here. It really doesn't take that long, but I'm going to pause it while it doesn't sting. Okay, so when it's finished, you'll get this message install from SD card complete. At this point, you'll go back and reboot system now. It's as easy as that. Very easy to install this ROM. Nothing fancy, nothing special. I know on Twitter they said that it um, was possibly going to come to us in a four-part flash. That might have got a little difficult. Uh, but they compressed it into one file so I was very happy to see that made it very simple very easy the one thing that you want to remember is that you cannot come to MIUI from a gingerbread ROM must be stock Froyo or CM7 based okay so this is the new boot animation for MIUI this is custom uh, by the guy that ported it framework 43 
And the first boot's always the longest, but this is not going to take very long. As soon as it boots up, we are going to get started with our review. Okay, guys, so once you get fully booted, this is the screen that you will be at. Uh, one of the first things I want to do is to show you the new lock screen. So the lock screen comes up and you have several options here. If you want to go straight into the dialer, just press the phone. That will bring up your dialer. Um, you can also go to your text messages directly from the lock screen. And, of course, you can just go into the home screen by pressing the middle. Uh, one thing that you'll notice right off the bat is that there is no app drawer. You just have several screens here. Uh, right now I'm just loading up my applications with Titanium Backup. Um, if you do load up your applications that you've saved with Titanium Backup, make sure that you do not load any system data, only the apps, because the system data is going to cause all kinds of goofy force closes. Uh, this thing is infinitely customizable. Uh, one thing that you'll notice here is uh, you've only got four little icons down here but you can change that just grab any app drag it and you can drop it in and you can do up to six applications that way um, after six it'll just start replacing those apps well like it did there but you can get six in there okay uh, another thing is you have this theme manager here where you can go and um, edit the theme you can change your boot animation there's several to choose from in the online boot animations I mean there's just an infinite amount here that you can choose from um, you would just download that and install the boot animation uh, there's boot audio you can change your lock screen style and you can change your lock screen. Of course they have all kinds of different lock screens online. Uh, same with the wallpaper. Your status bar can be changed. Your launcher can be changed. They have millions of online launchers that you can choose to download from. I've always been an ADW guy uh, but I really like this MIUI launcher so I think I'll keep it. Um, another thing that you can edit with your theme and settings is you can go down to or you can go over system and go to battery settings and battery indicator style and go to the percentage mod and select that and it'll show you the percentage in one percent increments at the top there it says eighty three percent um... let's see here you have this little slider here so you can go through your pages really quickly and then of course they have a feature here where you can long press and you can add widgets uh, to your main screen you can just choose from any of these widgets like uh, you know the Facebook widget you could put on there once it comes up I've got my Twitter widget all you would have to do is grab that widget and drop it and it will be there. You go back to the home screen. I'll just choose the regular launcher. I like it. And see there it is. Already installed. Uh, you can grab anything off the screen here and drag that into the trash bin. Uh, on your notifications you have no either your notifications or your toggles and I'm not sure that you can see that uh, but you have your flight mode you have reboot there uh, you can shut down your phone uh, toggle your Wi-Fi and your Bluetooth and your GPS all from the notification bar which was very bright white it's hard to see there um, guys there's just tons of stuff that you can go in here and play with I've only had a few hours with it before I SBF my phone and uh, installed from a clean slate but like I said guys there's a ton here to play with uh, go on to the link in the description 
and download the file and install it, play around with it, see what you think. Uh, also in that link, there's the beginner's guide to MIUI. I'm just like you. I am a beginner to MIUI. This is uh, the first time that I've had it on my phone, so I still have a lot to learn myself. But as you can see, there's lots to play with here, and it is very fast. Uh, it's built on CM7, but it does not have the bugs that CM7 had. Uh, all the bugs have been ironed out here. Uh, also, Wi-Fi Tether does work in this because it's on that .07 baseband. Uh, so go ahead to that website and check out droidmoderx.com. That's the new website. Um, just got that set up this week. Check it out. Tell me what you think. And get that ROM. And also subscribe to the channel if you want to stay updated with the Droid X here. And follow me on Twitter, Droid Moder X. Thanks, guys. Intoxicated world boys